हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू एजुकेटर्स प्लस सो आज की वीडियो में वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अ टॉपिक दैट इज कन्वेंशनल सोर्सेज ऑफ एनर्जी सो कन्वेंशनल सोर्सेज ऑफ एनर्जी इज पार्ट ऑफ योर एन टी एन एच जी आर एफ पेपर फर्स्ट यूनिट नाइन दैट इज पीपल डेवलपमेंट एंड एनवायरमेंट सो नाउ लेट स्टार्ट विद द टॉपिक वी विल बी ऑल्सो डिस्कसिंग द टॉपिक इन डिटेल एंड ऑल्सो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग सम ऑफ द एम सी क्यूज रिलेटेड टू दिस टॉपिक सो नाउ बिफोर स्टार्टिंग विद द टॉपिक आई वुड लाइक टू इन्फॉर्म यू गाइज दैट एजुकेटर्स प्लस की गूगल प्ले पे ऐप अवेलेबल है इफ यू वॉन्ट आप आपको जाके डाउनलोड कर सकते हैं वह आपको वीडियोज एंड लाइव सेशंस मिलेंगे ई बुक्स अवेलेबल हैं सारे टॉपिक्स के ऊपर बोथ इन हिंदी एंड इंग्लिश मीडियम मॉक टेस्ट सीरीज अवेलेबल है सीबीटी मोड के ऊपर जो सेम एन टी रेप्लिका पैटर्न पर बनाई गई है देन यू विल ऑल्सो बी गेटिंग कम्प्लीट स्टडी मटीरियल दैट टू बेस्ड ऑन न्यू पैटर्न लाइव इंटरक्टिव सेशन से डाउट क्लियर करने के लिए एंड फॉर मोर डिटेल्स यू कैन ऑलवेज चेक द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स आउट सो नाउ लेट स्टार्ट विद द टॉपिक दैट इज कन्वेंशनल सोर्सेस ऑफ एनर्जी सी Uh, when we cannot reuse uh, a source of energy right after using it once we call them conventional sources of energy and isi reason ki wajah se unhe non renewable energy sources ke naam se bhi jana jata hai so basically conventional sources of energies jo hoti hain uh, they are the most important and ye limited quantity mein available hoti hain further conventional sources of energy include karti hain jaise ki coal hua petroleum natural gas and also nuclear energy ऑयल जो है दैट इज द मोस्ट वाइडली यूज सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी कोल पेट्रोलियम नेचुरल गैस अकाउंट फॉर अबाउट नाइन्टी परसेंट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड प्रोडक्शन ऑफ कमर्शियल एनर्जी एंड यू नो हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिक एंड न्यूक्लियर पावर अकाउंट फॉर अबाउट टेन परसेंट नो फर्दर कन्वेंशनल सोर्सेज ऑफ एनर्जी को दो टाइप की एनर्जीज में डिवाइड किया जाता है फर्दर क्लासीफाई किया जाता है दीज इंक्लूड्स कमर्शियल एनर्जी सोर्सेज एंड द नॉन कमर्शियल एनर्जी सोर्सेज सो नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस द कमर्शियल एनर्जी सोर्सेज so now let's discuss the commercial energy sources so uh, commercial energy sources basically it includes coal electricity and petroleum and these are known as commercial energy sources since the consumer needs to pay its price to buy them so now let's discuss about coal so coal jo hai bahut hi important abundant conventional source of energy hai now it is a basically a black brown sedimentary rock aur iska jo formation hota hai coal ka that occurs when the remains of plants convert into convert into lignite and then into anthracite Now this basically involves a long process, or ये बहुत ज़्यादा time लेता है. It takes place over a long period of time. And apart from that, coal constitutes about 70 percent of the total commercial energy consumption in the country. And India is the fourth largest coal producing country, and the deposits are prime. Or जो coal के deposits हैं, that are primarily found in Bihar, Odisha, Madhya Pradesh, Jharkhand, and Bengal. Now the next commercial energy source is oil and natural gases. So if we talk about oil, so oil is considered liquid gold and it is one of the crucial energy sources in india and also in the world uh, oil ko primarily use kiya jata hai in planes automobiles trains and ships and um, out of all the conventional sources of energy oil is used abundantly all over and considering oil is the most important conventional sources of energy in india the resources Uh, for same are even smaller. If we talk about the extraction of oil, so जब extraction करते हैं हम oil का from deposits, it is known as oil resources. Then the next source is electricity. So electricity is a common form of energy जो used होती है in domestic as well as commercial purposes में. और इसका जो mainly utilization होता है वो होता है electrical appliances में uh, like uh, you know fridge, TV, washing machines and air conditions. अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट जो इलेक्ट्रिसिटी है उसके मेजर सोर्सेज हैं पावर जनरेशन के न ये मेजर सोर्सेज हैं न्यूक्लियर पावर थर्मल पावर एंड हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिक पावर सो अगर हम थर्मल पावर की बात करें तो थर्मल पावर इज जनरेटेड एट वेरियस पावर स्टेशन बाई यूटिलाइजिंग ऑयल एंड कोल एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट इट इज वाइटल सोर्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक करेंट एंड बेसिकली पावर स्टेशन बर्न अ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ फॉसल फ्यूल्स इन ऑर्डर टू हीट अप वॉटर एंड टू प्रोड्यूस स्टीम विच यू नो फर्दर रन द टर्बाइंस टू जनरेट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी Now the transmission of electricity is more efficient than transporting coal or petroleum over the same distance and it is called as thermal plant because fuel is burned to produce heat energy which is converted into electrical energy now the next uh, source of uh, electrical energy is hydroelectric power so hydroelectric power jo hoti hai wo produce ki jati hai by constructing dams over the flowing rivers jaise ki damodar valley ke upar jo project hai so basically this produces hydroelectric power 
then the next major source of power generation for electricity is the nuclear power so uh, the fuel that is used in nuclear power plants is uranium and its uh, cost hoti hai that is less than coal and for the nuclear energy jo hai that is one of the most uh, environmentally friendly conventional sources of energy as it produces pure uh, further jo nuclear power plants se jo nuclear energy produce hoti hai usse one of the most environmentally friendly conventional source of energy bhi mana jata hai kyunki because it produces very fewer amount of greenhouse gases emission during the production of electricity in comparison to sources jaise ki in comparison to other sources like coal power plants although in case of accident uh, the same nuclear energy release high amount in the environment and also the nuclear waste that remains is radioactive and also hazardous so basically these were the commercial sources of conventional energy now if we discuss about non commercial energy sources so basically they are freely available energy sources aur ye considered kiye jaate hain as a so basically jo freely available energy sources hoti hain unko considered kiya jata hai as non commercial energy sources further examples of non commercial energy sources includes straw dried dung and also firewood Now let's also discuss a difference that is between the conventional and non-conventional sources of energy. जो conventional sources of energy होती हैं, उनको non-renewable sources of energy के नाम से भी जाना जाता है. Whereas if we talk about non-conventional sources of energy, so they are also known as renewable sources of energy. Now the next is that conventional sources of energy find both commercial and industrial purposes. Whereas if we talk about the non-conventional sources of energy, so they are mainly used for household purposes further conventional sources of energy can be considered to be one of the reasons for the causes of pollution but if we talk about non conventional sources of energy so they does not uh, causes pollution and they are not responsible for the cause of pollution apart from that uh, conventional sources of energy ke examples ho gaye coal fossil fuels and uh, non conventional sources of energy ke example ho gaye wind solar energy biomass etc Now the next is choose the sources of energy which is different from others so you have the following options and the correct answer is option D why because option D that is petroleum is a renewable is a non renewable sources of energy whereas where because option D petroleum is a non renewable sources of energy whereas wood water and wind can be a renewable sources of energy now the next question is what was the most commonly used fuel in ancient era so you have the following options and the correct answer is option c that is wood so wood bahut mostly commonly used fuel tha from ancient time then the next is uh, which among the following conventional sources of energy then the next question is which among the following uh, conventional sources of energy is present in maximum extent so you have the following options and the correct answer is option d that is coal So out of all the conventional sources of energy jo proportion hai coal ka that is largest so hence the correct answer is option D then the next question is uh, select the correct statement about the use of conventional energy forms so you have the following options and the correct answer is option D that is all the above statements are correct so basically jitni bhi statements hain uh, that is conventional sources have limited stock conventional sources can cause air pollution conventional sources you know um, during burning tox uh, releases toxic gases by fossil fuels so these all statements are true regarding conventional energy forms so hence the correct answer is option d so yes this was all for today's video i hope you find this video helpful and relevant and please do subscribe to our channel like share and comment and stay tuned for the more upcoming videos thank you